Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Garmin Forerunner 55 tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install widgets on your Garmin Forerunner 55 from the Garmin Connect IQ store on your phone. So widgets are the items that you can get to by using the up or down buttons from the watch face on your Garmin 455. So if I go down, you'll see that we have an intensity minute widget, a last run widget, a heart rate widget, and basically these widgets just display information that the watch has gathered from either your activities or external sources. And one of the coolest things about Garmin watches is that we can go into the Garmin Connect IQ store on our phone and actually install custom third-party widgets that people have made that can provide all kinds of really cool information. So to get started with installing widgets on our Garmin 455, the first thing we're gonna to need to do is simply open up the app store on our phone and you wanna search Connect IQ Store. Check the description, I'll have direct links down there so you can get it both for Android or iPhone. Go ahead and get the app installed and then open it up. The first time you open it, you may need to actually log into your Garmin account. Make sure it's the same account that you use to pair your watch with your phone. Once we get into the Garmin Connect IQ Store, we can quickly access available widgets by first selecting Search at the bottom. And then in the top menu, as you can see, we have several different options. Go ahead and select Widgets. So we have all these widgets that are compatible with our Garmin 455. It's things such as weather, surf line, hunt and fish, temperature. They even have weather radar, but that one does cost money. They have an air quality widget. I'm gonna install the Bitcoin widget right here that just shows the price of cryptocurrencies on our actual watch. So once you find a widget you wanna install, go ahead and select into it. From here, we can see reviews about that widget, see what other people are saying about it. We can also see more information about the widgets, such as pictures, and the most important would probably be permissions. So these are any permissions that the widget needs in order to function. Once we're ready to install the widget, simply scroll up and select install, and then you'll have to give access to those permissions, so select allow. And then as you can see, it'll start installing the widget. Now we can check the status of that installation by going back and then in the bottom menu, selecting My Device. And as you can see, in the download queue, we currently have the widget that we just tried to install. And at the bottom, you can see that there is now a ring around My Device. And as this gets closer to that little dot, that's the progress of it being installed on our watch. So during this time, just try to keep your watch and your phone close to each other, and that will help it install quicker. All right, so it was just installed. Might take a second for it to load all the different things installed. So once it's fully installed, you'll see a little screen that pops up. Select Got It. We can go down and select My Widgets. So we can see the different widgets that are installed on our watch. From there, we can select in and we can uninstall the widget if we want to. Some widgets will also have settings that can be customized within the app as well. This one does not. So you can just do that on your watch. Now that the widget has been successfully installed on our Garmin 4Runner 55, to access it, all we need to do is select the up button and you'll see it right there. We can first see it at a glance, but to see more of it, select it with the start or stop button and then you'll be able to actually start using it and interacting with the widget, depending on whichever type of widget you actually installed. Once you have the widget open, there may be more menus or settings available for the widget. We can access those by holding the up button with the widget open. And then you'll be able to see different things in here. Like, like this one, we can control and change the price feeds, different add different cryptocurrencies, and then also see more information and go into the settings, things like that. One quick thing, if the data doesn't initially load with your widget, I recommend performing a manual sync with your phone, maybe turning on and off your watch, or just giving it a day or two to fully sync and download data if it's having some issues. All right, so that's how you install widgets from the Garmin Connect IQ store onto your Garmin 4Runner 55. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Garmin 4Runner 55 tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.